Does that count? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my guy. Uh, today, if you can't tell by the weird ass music in the background, I've got two Fears to Fathom games that I'm gonna play today. I have Home Alone, which I believe is the first one. And then I have Iron Something Lookout. It's the newest one. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. So I have a couple of rules. I tried to add in that I will also take a shot if the train goes by, uh, but for some reason it wouldn't let me save that part. Anyway, if the train goes by, I'm gonna take a shot. The rules are generally, if I get, like, if I jump, if I scream, or if I'm so scared that I need a little liquid courage to continue on, then we take a shot. We have to start this off with a shot. I'm gonna try out this, here's my shot. Oh, can you even see it? Oh, sorry, I pulled the sticker off, so now there's like sticky shit on it, just ignore that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, 20 minutes. Oh, I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time, though I did plan on fixing that. Oh, what the fuck? I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. 8 p.m.? Oh my goodness. Does that count? Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Probably gonna order some pizza, yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Fuck you, mom. I wanted pizza. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We could play Mario Kart too? Hell yeah. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. I have, may have plans with Nat. Ugh. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. Do I have a flashlight or something? It's freaking dark in here. Holy shit. Why? Why do I go up the stairs like this? Should I get my lasagna out? Food was cold. Okay. Why do I walk downstairs like I have the legs of a chihuahua? Just gonna go for my nightly swim. Cheers. <coughs> Let's go. So what do I do with my food? Oh shit. I liked watching TV while I ate, okay. Oh, I don't like that I'm like trapped here. Oh god dang. That's a huge bite. He said, Ch -ch -ch oh. What are we watching on TV? <laughs> going for number three. Uh, uh, I saw two little feet. He walked up the stairs way fucking faster than I do. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. No, fuck you. I'm not going upstairs. No, actually, wait. I want to take this. I can use it as a weapon. Oh my god. I'm glad that I don't have any blinds in my room. This is, this is great. This is a great time. I remembered... What's happening? Why do I have this in my room? All right, I have my lasagna pan and I'm ready to fucking study. Let's do it. 12.38 AM. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Hi, mom. Don't stay up too late, kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Okay, 1.16 AM. Lasagna pan is the ultimate weapon. I got up to get some water. Where's my pan? No! Can I take anything with me as a weapon? It's dark as hell in here. Do I really not have a flashlight or a damn light switch in this house? Oh, damn it. <coughs> I'm the man in this house. Now we make our slow journey up the stairs with our chihuahua legs. All right, let's go back to bed. Who, Miles? Who's that at the door? You there? Mom? Anyway, I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh, I'm hiding. So does it want me to go see who's at the door? Oh, oh, hold on. Run with your little chihuahua legs, run. Oh shit, 
I shut the door on myself. Hold on, I need a drink. All right, let me check my text to mom. Paula sent me, said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. It's Paula at the door. Now see, you told me, mom, you told me, mom, not to answer the door no matter what. Anyway, cheers. I mean, goddamn, Paula, chill. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. Do I go open the door for Paula? Get the door? Hold on, I need a drink. Shh, we're gonna be very quiet. We're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna fucking book it. We're gonna book it with our little chihuahua legs. There is somebody else now. <laughs> Why did you tell me to get the door? <sighs> what? Not at closing? Do I have to play the whole goddamn thing again? Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> ah! The police are here. Yay! Paula! Paula! Oh. It's the way it just shut for me. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so this one has save files, which I guess makes sense. Because it is actually two hours. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As of writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Oh, I get to drive? What if I drive right into the... I should have taken it easy. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Beep, beep. Um, am I stuck? Or maybe I wasn't supposed to drive it. I'll just walk. That's fine. Roseburg, four miles. I really think I'm probably supposed to drive this. Anyway, let's keep going. What if I need the RV back later and I don't have it? Okay, you guys. I won't crash the car this time. Oh, shit. Hold on, I gotta pull over. Oh, uh, Kayla texted me. Is this what I look like? All right, we gotta get back on the road. Hold on, check. Anybody coming? No, okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Oh, oh hold on. Kayla texted me. I gotta pull over. Skirt. Are you good? Good. How are you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right, cool. Um, the bathroom's right here, so I'm gonna sit here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Okay. What the fuck? Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. I've always had a bit had this habit of peeing before eating. I really had to pee. Oh. And now I have to take a shot. Cheers. Consuming. Kayla. Hold on, let me eat my fries, Kayla. You can wait. Drank my... Oh, shit. Bitch, I'm trying to text. Meanwhile, hello, sir? What are you doing? Hey, man. Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. There's a rumor going around that a creature got him. A creature? All right. 8.02 p.m. Ooh, I almost hit that car. Knock, knock, knock. There's a whole bunch of shitty bugs. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Cheers, 
my guy. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. This is my bathroom. Am I going to have to hide in here at some point? I don't like that. Um, employee training.mp4. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this. Is that Jack Septic Eye? You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. We've been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. Okay. Keep watch for fire. The science nerds at the Panoramic what Preservation the Society. What the hell is this? We think it's okay. best not to get into a lawsuit. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So by don't NASA. be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. So I report the date. Oh. You guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? I'm a transmitter. You're an experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. What's this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Radio okay, equipment was... Moment. Connor, I'm trying to play my game. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay, Connor bye. Good night. Love you. you have a good night, new guy. <laughs> you too. You don't want the bed bug to bite. I'm 326. I had to pee. Well, god damn it. Connor? I hope he's okay. Anyway, I have to pee. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange. Am I really about to pee over the side of this balcony? Good night. Night two. Look at this beautiful sunrise. I'm a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Okay. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Oh. Am I checking it out? Um, is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray. Stay safe out there. I was on the wrong trail. What the hell do you mean? Oh, is it this way? 8.37 p.m. Oh, hell no. Hey, you little bitches. Hello? That's definitely a person whistling. That guy's whistling again. Oh, now it's gonna be dark as shit, and I already threw my bear spray on the ground. I got it, don't worry. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Okay. Wait, shit, this is not the way. This is the way. Sorry, I just, I forgot the directions. Do, 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 do. Hey, Connor. Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? No. Son of a bitch. We'll start spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. <gasps> well, now wait a damn minute. 46.1. 21. All right, cool. Let's go to bed. I'm feeling unsettled. I'm fine. 2.27 a.m. Yo, what the fuck? It's raining in my house? I'll get ya. Try me. Oh. Well, hello. Ha! Oh. Night three. The next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. My paranoia for the woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant in moving forward. Hello? Hello? Do -do 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 -do. Hello? Is anyone there? 
Hello? I need help. Can anyone hear me? Uh, this is Jack Tower 11. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's the situation? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Aw, boo-hoo. Is somebody lost? I think I'm lost. Good. I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Thank you. That gives me such a clear picture of where you are. I'm right here! What? I hear you. Uh, that's not what? me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Paula? I need some liquid courage. Oh, God. What? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? What were you doing there last night? What? Up north, why were you there? Nasty business up there, pal. You should be arrested for crimes against humanity for that sound you just made while you ate your lasagna. It's just, this is my job, this is what I do, and I don't get paid enough to deal with anything else. <laughs> you just gave me a heart attack and a shot. I understand. Loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker, and I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Okay. That guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Okay, bye! Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I ran into whatever this guy's ran name into is. Who? The guy. The maintenance <sighs> guy. Is this about yesterday? What are you talking about? You trying to yank my chain now? What are you talking about? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Oh, well then who the hell was that guy? Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Over and out. Good night. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. So that's what, night five? Ew, what was that? Oh shit. You're gonna make me, god damn it. Generator ran out of gas. Oh my fucking god, you guys. They're not even gonna let me add my bear spray? Cool, let's go. It was getting cold and I had to pee. I don't give a fuck. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now I'm seeing this. You see the campsite from your end? Over there? Okay. What the fuck? I think that we should just let them be. <gasps> Shit. Anyway, time to go to bed. Run! Ah! Run! I know what to do. Huh? Why wouldn't he close the door? We gotta run. We're gonna hide in the porta potty this time like we're supposed to. Hey, bro, what's up?
I'm fucking going. Oh. He's sitting on a piano, mind you. Hello? It was locked. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I gotta go to my RV. Run! Don't worry. I parked it right here. All convenient like. Shut the goddamn door. We gotta go. The as adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we got a little stir. We all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Mm hmm. Next morning, authorities allegedly, allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct, even though I saw them fucking burning a body. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot, ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still hits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Dun, dun, dun.